Hey guys, this is M. Javed with another tutorial regarding the high CPU and disk usage due to MS applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Well, since the last week, I have been observing that whenever I open MS applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc., the CPU usage jumps to like plus 40% and disk usage jumps to like plus 90% right away and stays there. Like here you can see that CPU usage is normal and only OBS Studio is taking its processing under CPU column. And when I open a Word file, only the Word processing takes like plus 30% CPU usage and disk for like plus 90% and it stays there as long as I have kept the file open. And the moment I close the file, the CPU and disk usage come down to normal. And when I open an Excel file, it happens again. And when I open an Excel file with Word file, the processing of one file is normal. Well, when I open a new document instead of a saved document, it doesn't happen. And when I searched about it, it looks like that it's happening due to some external links. So to solve it, I have applied many methods like checking and installing updates for MS Office. Then I used another method which is cleaning office cache files and to do that you need to go to trusted add-ins catalog under more select options then select trust center then click on trust center settings and here check this checkbox and clear it. Well either method didn't work for me. Then I also checked for Windows update and installed them. It didn't help too. Then I used another method which is turning off metered connection. And to do that, right click on your Wi-Fi icon and click on open network and internet settings. Here click on properties and here you can see that it's already off. Then I used another method which is quick repairing. To do that, go to all programs under control panel and find your office application. Then right click on it and select change. Then click on repair. It will start repairing which will take a while. After completing, when I opened a file, it didn't solve the issue. Then I did online repairing and while online repairing, it will start downloading and installing the files. And after completing, I restarted my computer and opened a file. And here you can see that it didn't work either. Well, what worked for me that when I open a file, let's say Excel, and then I opened another file, let's say Word. The CPU and disk usage is different for both. Here you can see the Excel is taking more CPU and disk usage than the Word file which is processing like normal. Now just close the file that is taking more CPU and disk usage which is Excel in my case. And here you can see that CPU and disk processing start working normally. 
Now open an Excel file again and it doesn't affect the CPU and disk processing at all. Now the catch here is that you need to keep one MS file open all the time to save the unnecessary CPU and disk processing of your system that is happening from this issue. The moment you will close all the MS file and reopen one, it will start happening again. So make sure you keep one MS file open all the time to save the unnecessary processing. And if you have stayed this far, please consider supporting by liking, subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.